Hi guys, it's me, Jamie, um, and I am here doing all sorts of vlogs. Uh, lifestyle, home, family, travel. Disney is my thing, but um, yeah, all sorts. Um, so if you haven't already, please subscribe, like, comment. It helps other people find me. It's just really nice and really good for the channel, and I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so this is just a bit of a weekly vlog thing, and today, uh, not much has happened. <laughs> well, stuff has happened, but I didn't take you. So Oscar had a swim lesson today, um, he's changed groups, um, he wasn't caping very well. Um, so he's changed groups, which is fine, just means we have to get up earlier on a Saturday. Which isn't necessarily fine, no it is. Um, but then we went to Costa afterwards for a hot chocolate for a treat, because he got quite upset. So that's what we did. Um, I went to Tesco's, got some Mother's Day cards to send, which I've done. Charlotte went to the post office and posted them for me. And I really need to go through, excuse me while I just move you around, really need to go through these. So most of these, bar two that I can see, all of these except two actually are lounge fly bags. Um, which I love, obviously, because they're awesome. But, as you can also see, they haven't really had a lot of use. And I've got nowhere to store them. Um, some of them I've not used yet. No, I don't want a flat ear. Rob bought me that one for Christmas. Um, I should have kept the thing to keep the ears up. Never mind. Uh, I just need to find a way to store them. <laughs> So they're not just all shoved like this in the study. Hi guys. Um, but I don't know how. Because Rob said about putting them up on the wall. But I like that wall. I like that wallpaper. I just think it would be too much having them up there. And they wouldn't all fit on there anyway. Actually. So I just. I don't know. But I need to do something with them. Because they need a place to live. Um. Yeah, I've done some bits and bobs on the computer. I popped up a vlog on my channel last night, which is quite a personal one about Noah and his diagnosis. So I've done that. Um, so that'll be on here somewhere if you want to read read that. <laughs> Watch that. It's just kind of like a chatty vlog. Um, what are the plans for this week? Well, I've got work. It's got school. I've got loads of sorting to do in the house, so that'll be fun. You can come along with me if you want, and some clothes sorting out. Also, I need to, I don't know what you do, but I do, um, I've started to do like an Easter bag for the kids now because they always get loads and loads of chocolate, and as much as they love it, um, Oscar especially, Noah's not as big a fan. And obviously, we're keeping his lactose down because he's like lactose intolerant slightly like not massively but we try and keep a lot of it out of his system at home um, so that when he's out if he has a bit of cheese or whatever it's okay but if he has too much we take he takes a tablet anyway besides the point so anyway they he, they just don't and they end up like at christmas as well i end up with loads of chocolate left over and sometimes then i have to eat it which is not good for me dieting or my skin or anything like that so instead i've decided to do um easter bags like gift bags show you um these ones that i've got last year they're not very big oh they're quite wide though so they're these oh no they're quite a good size actually aren't they because they're wide so i've got these for them where did i get them from i don't know it must have been i think last year or the year before i got a load on offer so three there for the boys um, so what I'm going to do, instead of just getting them loads of Easter eggs and stuff, I, they're, they're going to get an Easter egg. They'll probably have a big Easter egg separate to the bag. So they'll get like a main Easter egg. And then in the bags will just be like little presents and stuff. So um, it's not all chocolate. Like as I got older and stuff, I know they're still only quite young. But like my parents, obviously in my family used to get me chocolate Easter eggs. But then... Sometimes my parents would get me an Easter egg and then like, I don't know, I'd have some money or a voucher or some clothes or something that I wanted, you know? And it just, just better, don't you think? 
like as long as they still get their easter eggs and stuff because i mean if you go really back deep into it the meaning of easter it's not to do with chocolate eggs is it so i don't think it's a bad thing i did get this though excuse me i'm back my boys are quite into well never especially is into anime but oscar quite likes it as well and he likes dragon ball and they've been really enjoying reading like manga like you can they always do it backwards manga so so i got this one for oscar which is dragon ball z volume one to read because they've got quite a few of manga books because he obviously is more into it but oscar's showing an interest too so i got that i just got it off vintage it wasn't very expensive um so that's gonna go that's gonna go in his um bag um i've got a t-shirt for noah so i'm up and down i'm sorry just didn't think you'd want to constantly pick you up Ooh. because he is I mean Oscar is too but this is in the sale in Noah's size so he's the incredible kid at the moment so he's got that and then I'll probably get them um a few other bits like I get Noah like dairy free um little chocolates and stuff as well which I did at Christmas and excuse me try to drink more more water like a good girl it's got that water drop thing I don't know if you heard a water drop a little like things to put in there that adds a little bit of flavour and vitamins and stuff so it's not just plain water so I'm trying those it seems to be alright so yeah so that's what I'm doing this Easter so I'll be buying stuff for that um, as well this week so a couple of bits I think I might have another look on Vintage to see if I've got anything on there um, got work this week boys have got school uh might go out with my friend for a coffee or something we keep trying to do it but then having to cancel um what's also on next week it's the teacher strikes as well next week so the boys aren't at school wednesday and thursday um wednesday noah's got a, a cast in for his splint because he needs new splints because he grows out of them and also the one he stays splint that he's got it's got a slight split on it so it needs replacing but he is growing anyway so obviously because there's a growing boy he's only 10 so yeah it's already had like several <laughs> like three i think he's had already this is third and the next one will be his fourth and um, so he'll get those cast in so he has to go and get his leg in a cast sort of thing so they can mark out because obviously the splints are made specifically for him to fit his legs and his needs so yeah so he's got that on wednesday so now i'm gonna to have to drag oscar and it's quite early and because of where we live our uh, main hospital is trillis which is truro so it's a bit of a mission so we've got that in the morning on wednesday and then thursday i'll be working from home because i usually work at school i'm doing admin so obviously i've got the kids home so i am going to work from home because i can um and then yeah so i've got bits and bobs around the house as well but i'll show you all that when it comes to it but um yeah i like the easter thing i think that's really good also noah started doing ukulele at school so he wanted one at home so rob bought him one uh ukulele sitting on top of the quilts obviously um but i need to tune it now we've bought a tuner um so i just need to do that tomorrow i know what we're doing tomorrow we are building the rest of this oscar's sonic the hedgehog lego because he got it for christmas and he hasn't finished it yet and um, because it's quite a hard one so as you can see and obviously xander's not here and rob's not here so that's me building it i also have lego to build which i got for christmas and birthday i think christmas um and birthday maybe so my lego is down here because we've got all the games down here at the moment um because there's there's nowhere else to put them but we have just bought a new unit so all of these games not the sewing machine these games can go in there oscar's got this one which is awesome um, so this is my Lego that I've got to make. So we've got princesses, 
because I like these little book ones because they look like books and an Encanto one and then Rob got me the orchid which I love. I love all the wildflower Legos. I want to collect them and have them like flowers because I'm rubbish at keeping flowers alive um, just because I am. Um, and I want to replace some of these because I had it on a calendar that Rob bought me. He bought it me last year when we were in Disney last December. So obviously I got a new one this year, but it's, oh, the trials and tribulations I've had with the new calendar. So you can tear off the top and the bottom. And so obviously I've put six months ones up there, but there's more here that I want to do. And obviously it's Mr. Toad. As you know, I love Mr. Toad. Um, so, and Mickey. So I want to put some of these. Uh, so cool. Um, in a couple of these. Um, not because I don't like these ones, I do, but I think it'd be cool to have a swap around so then you can like change them out. So I think I'm going to change out this one. Uh, this one. And this one for now. Um, I could just swap, swap them all over, couldn't I? like six months and then swap them around but I was just going to keep just swapping them around so I don't really know what I'm doing to be honest I haven't got a clue I don't know um, yeah we've got so much to do in this house still we've been here for years but we just never just never with Rob working away it's hard to get a lot done when he's the muscle and I'm not um so yeah loads to do but I've got loads of books to read as well got some of these i love this one i got for christmas from rob and the boys along with shoulder one um charlotte got me this one which i can't wait to read um and i've got this massive bag my friend was getting rid of loads of books so i had them because i love reading um so i kind of need to read them <laughs> But yeah, so that is my plans, which isn't a lot of plans really, is it? But um, I will film throughout the week for you to show you. Um, and if there's anything exciting, I'll put it on here. So yeah, I'll catch you in a bit. Morning. It is Monday morning. Woo! Um, I've got work today. Um, hence why I've got a bit of a face on today. Ooh, extreme close up. Um, don't know why I did that. I'm quite tired. I went to bed fairly early because I was getting up early. Um, but it's really, really windy down here at the moment. Um, not that I've got wind, the weather. Um, so it's really noisy and it was kind of like I was imagining Wizard of Oz scenario where we'd be lifted up and wafted away. Um, I know, it sounds a bit over the top, but it's really windy. I need to put my scarf on. Um, yeah, so today I've got work this morning and obviously the boys have got school. And then, sorry, I'm looking at my watch because I had a message. <laughs> Obviously, Charlotte's at work as well. Um, and Rob is away. Um, I haven't got a lot on today, really. Well, at work I've got stuff to do, but I should be finished by, I'm only in for about three hours. So I'll be done by about half 11. Um, and then come home and I've got stuff to do at home, just bits and bobs. Um, I might start doing a bit of planning so I'll, if I do that, I'll probably film that separately for Disney. Um, but we'll see. I might sort through my lounge fly. I don't know, but I'll be doing something. <laughs> um, and if it's any interesting, I will film it. Um, the boys slept okay. It's a three day week this week because um, of the teacher strike. So we've got teacher strikes on Wednesday and Thursday at the boys school and I work there. Um, so I will be working from home on Thursday because I work Monday, Thursday, Fridays. Um, so I'll be working from home on the Thursday. Um, and on the Wednesday they're off. Um, Noah has a appointment at orthotics at the hospital because um, he needs his new splints casting. So, um, yeah, he's got that at 10 past nine, which is a bit of a pain because it's like a 45 minute ish journey problem with living in Cornwall um, yeah and it takes a bit of time and you have to get up early and blah 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 blah, blah. 
but it'll be fine. And he gets his leg cast. Um, they take a cast, do some markings on it to say about what he needs doing. And then in a couple of weeks' time, we have to go back for it because it'll be made and get it fitted to make sure it fits okay and everything. And then, yeah, that is that. So that's what we're doing on the Wednesday morning. But then, obviously, that'll take a bit of time. So we're back by lunchtime at the latest. And then, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do then. But Thursday, I'll be working from home in the morning, at least. I think that's the plan, anyway. Um, and then, I don't know what we'll do. So the boys are quite happy because they've only got three days at school. I mean, they do love school. They haven't got a problem with school. They enjoy it and they love going to see their friends and whatnot. But um, obviously they're kids, so and days off are a bonus and they love it. So, yeah. So we've got that. Um, I was hoping for a lion on one of them, really, but we've got the hospital and then work. I'm not going to have much of a lion. Never mind. We can but dream. When the children are all grown up and off, just adventures of their own maybe then i'll get a lion <laughs> but um yeah so that's that's today and um yeah that's about it really i think rob should be home in time for the easter holidays um i don't know how long off he'll have but he'll have at least a week so hopefully he'll be off for the first week um xander's going to be home i think but not till the second week so we might go up at the end of the week before rob goes pick him up and bring him back but i don't know no major plans there made yet and I don't know what we're doing um, for the first week of Easter. Um, I'd like to get away for a couple of days or do a couple of day trips or whatever, which I will vlog, a vlog, a vlog um, of course, and then, um, yeah, it's all good. But yeah, I'll come back on when I've got more interesting things for you. Have a good day, whatever you're doing, and I'll speak to you later. Bye guys. Hello. Um, it looks a bit dark because I can't, the big light, even with my ring light, doesn't seem to want to not be flashy. I think it's because of the type of light that it is. So I'm just going with my ring light at the moment. So it looks a bit dark, but it's because it is. Um, what I was going to show you is what came in the post today. Just because I thought you might be interested. So I decided to try this. I struggle with my skin a bit sometimes so I have got this and I've gone for the um, thing and to try the cleanser and the moisturiser as well as the daily dose of stick so I'm going to start using that and see how I get on with that so yeah I think I've got a code of someone it's either Brummy Mummy or someone like that and then I thought I would also try these. I'm trying to drink more water, so I've got these and um, some called water drop, and they've got like no sugar and all the rest of it, and they've got vitamins and stuff in. And can you see that? Is it coming up? I don't know if it will because I'm a fist, but um, I don't know. Give it a minute. Working. Anyway. It's called Vibrate. You get different flavours and you get a boost when you can also get like a, a nighttime one as well. Um, there you go. Um, so this is just a sampler pack. It's a boost one, which you can get if you just pay for a postage, just a couple of quid. But I've also got water drops, which is like little tiny tabs. I like tiny, they look a bit like sweets really. And you put them in your water and there's different flavours and stuff and so I'm going to try those as well. <laughs> now this is the one that I'm really interested in. Excuse me, just get some scissors. This is the parcel I've been waiting for that I kind of forgot all about. But now I remember, super excited. And I can't wait to work out how to open the box. Which I'm doing right now, somehow. Gonna end up causing myself an injury. No. I know you like the tunes. Um, forgive me. So, this I'm really excited about because it is. 
Dun, dun, dun. You can't see it, can you? Hey, how you doing? Da, da, da. Uh, can you see that? It is from Magic Maker Ears. Um, they're on Etsy and she's also on Instagram. And she does all sorts of things. And I've been meaning to order for a while. I think I ordered, I've ordered some ears before, I think. Oh, I love them. So I've got some new ears. I don't know if you can appreciate the, the sparkle on these bad boys. <gasps> love them. Thank you. Oh, they're amazing. I can keep them on, actually. Here we are. There's one. I've got that. What else did I order? It's also lovely wrapped. Like, you know, I have, I think I have some ears before from her, and I do like her stuff, so I thought I'd order some stuff. Oh, yeah, pouch. So I think it is under Valentine's because it's got like, if you can see, all the way around, um, Mickey's, but they're like floral ones. I think it's in the Valentine's bit, so it's a nice little pouch to use. So I'm going to use that. Also got this again with a cute little sticker on it. We really like these little stickers. I think it's lovely on people. Um, not their own little thing. Hmm. I feel bad picking your face. Oh, out of focus. I feel bad picking your face off. Sorry. It's a lovely little face that it is. But I really want to get into this mug. <laughs> Excuse my face. Took my glasses off because, like I've said before, when I've got my ring light on, it's having to stay in the same position so you can't see it. But look, how cool is that? I'm really happy with that as well. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So we've got that, 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 my amazing ears, and this is the cool beans. Ba ba ba! JC, JC, does not stand for anything but Jamie Cool. It's not Jesus or anything like that, so it's definitely me. But um, yeah, I love it, so. Alright, I'm going to loosen that up. Oh, my ears. Yeah! Can you see me? Can you see me? JC. JC, not JZ. I mean, I can see. That being confusing. Oh, I love these ears. They're so cool. Um, yeah. So. I'm really happy with that. Although, are people going to think I'm really religious now, actually? I do know it's because my name is Jamie. JC. That's what I want to be known as from now on, please. Okay. Do not stress me unless you're calling me a JC. But anyway, yeah, I love them. Yay! Babes. I love those ears, like, obsessed. New obsession. Oh, I loved them so much. They're so sparkly. They're so sparkly. Okay, that there. I'm not going to put the mug in because it's going to be So, yeah, so that was my little collection of goodies today, which I think you can appreciate. It's a lovely little collection of goodies. Um, didn't do any planning today because just didn't really get round to it, to be honest. But um, this evening is the boys are just having a... Nice little play before it's time to do teeth, toilet, and then no, 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 no. It's not teeth and toilet first. It's milk and biscuits first. They have a drink. Um, no has milk. Well, lacto-free milk and a biscuit. And Oscar has squash and a biscuit. It's just something they've always done before. But it used to always be milk and biscuits because um, they both obviously used to have milk and a little biscuit before bedtime. But now it's just that's what we call it. But it's not always milk. But normally it's always a biscuit. Um, and then they, they'll do teeth and 
go to the toilet and stuff and then go to bed. Um, it's a school night so we don't have it too late because Oscar loves his sleep. The only, like They get to read their books and stuff in bed because Noah takes a while to go to sleep because he, he sleeps alright when he has a good solid few hours but he doesn't go to sleep till late and then he wakes up really early so they're allowed to read in their room. They've got little bed lamps, um, book lights to read um, so it's not too bright but um, yeah Oscar likes having a lot of sleep so they go to bed about eight half well about half eight about half eight ish half eight ish normally um but i mean they're nine and ten so like i don't know if that's early um but it works for them at the moment so we'll leave it at that for now um but they tend to they don't get to sleep at that time they normally read for a bit and stuff so they're probably going to sleep about well oscar probably goes to sleep about nine half nine but i'd say more nine o'clock and then noah reads and stuff until probably about ten ish or so because it just he doesn't sleep very well. Well, he sleeps well when he is asleep. It takes him ages to get to sleep. And he is always up early. Always. So, yeah. So, then they'll do that. And then me and Charlotte have got our snacks in. Um, although I've been doing really well with healthy stuff. But I have got some midget gems tonight. Because I think it, it deserves it. Because it's the last one of The Last of Us. <sighs> so, we're watching that. I've really enjoyed it, actually. I, I've, I've heard about it. and Because um, Charlotte and Xander, my eldest son Xander love the game and stuff and Sandra was, has been obsessed with it for quite a while and then Charlotte got into it as well and um and it sounded cool I guess as a game but I don't really play that many sort of games like that or anything um but when they said they were doing a series like it sounded right on my street with what it's all about and stuff I just don't really play it so so watching it was definitely something that I was interested in and it is amazing Makes me want to watch Charlotte play the game now, which I might do actually, because I love it. And I mean, to be fair, I think I love the programme as well, because mm, made me kind of fall a bit more in love a bit with Pedro and Pascal, not going to lie. Love Mr. Bat Mandalorian as well, and oh, he's just so nice. There's just something about him, and he's so funny. Have you watched some interviews? So funny. So yeah, so that's the plans for this evening. Um, I haven't got work tomorrow, but obviously the boys have got school. Um, so my computer keeps coming on and that's why I'm slightly pink because my screen is multicoloured. Um, I haven't got work tomorrow but the boys have got school. Um, I've got some bits and bobs to get on with at home. Charlotte's got work, obviously Rob's away, Sanders at uni and all the usual things. I don't know why I'm repeating that. Um, but yeah, this lighting because it's just like a lamp with the ring light and whatever. It's just making me go tired. But I'm excited for The Last of Us, but I'm really gutted it's the last one. Uh, apparently they're doing a second series for The Last of Us 2, part 2 or whatever. But obviously they haven't even started it yet. So, but I feel like I might cry at this one. I haven't really cried. I mean, I got emotional on episode 3, um, which I think was a, an, a beautiful piece of, like, TV, right? It was really good. Um, yeah, that was that was a good one. But Charlotte cries at all of them, <laughs> and she's gonna cry at this one because it's the last one as well. Um, I'm not sure what's gonna happen in it, but I'm scared because <laughs> I really like it. Um, but yeah, so I might I might weep. Who knows? I tell you what, I did cry at though. I saw the trailer for the Little Mermaid, the new Little Mermaid trailer came out today. And I cried. Well, I was this close to crying, like my eyes welled up and I thought I was going to cry. There's just something about, um, I mean it looks amazing, I can't wait to see it, but there's something about like The Little Mermaid and Beauty and the Beast. A couple of other ones, I was sort of a teenager-ish, mid to late teens, when they came out and I was kind of into grunge and Nirvana and Pearl Jam and Soundgarden and all that sort of stuff back then. And like Disney was my little secret -y. well not secret, but it's like a little escape because all sorts of stuff going on in my life and that used to be something I'd escape to and like be my comfort and stuff, I guess. And those, Beauty and the Beast and The Little Mermaid, anytime I hear any of the songs or whatever, I just, I get really emotional, so it makes me cry. And the only other Disney, well there's loads of Disney films that make me cry, but just the songs and 
every time I watch them and stuff. There's a couple. So Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, a couple of the songs out of there. And Tarzan, because Sandy used to love Tarzan when he was little. He liked both of them, but the first one was the best one. Um, and, like, yeah, he used to sing one of the songs with me. And, oh, it breaks my heart. Every time I hear it, it makes me want to cry because he's now nearly 20. He's 20 this year. And, like, you know, it's getting older. And we're very alike, so we do clash quite a lot because of it. Um and we're both very stubborn. Um, but so yeah, it just takes me back to when he was little and yeah, that makes me cry as well. But um yes, yeah, so I'm really excited for the new little mermaid. Really excited for that. Can't wait for that to come out. And I am going to go and see that. But yeah, I think that's all to report really. I just want to show you what I've got today. Um so thank you to Magic Maker Ears. They are amazing. Um might get another bag or something though, with maybe Jamie on it. Well, then JC, because I think everyone's going to think that I love Jesus. Not that there's anything wrong with Jesus at all. But I wouldn't normally be walking around with anything Jesus on me, per se. Maybe that's what people... People might think I'm really religious and then come up to me and start talking to me about it. Which I don't mind, but I'm not really religious. So maybe that's a little bit misleading. Yeah, it's just my initials, though, isn't it? Am I overthinking this? <laughs> like I say, there's nothing long, wrong with any of it, but I think I'm just... I think I'm going to stop now. <laughs> I'm tired and I think I'm just going on and thinking things that... I don't know what I'm overthinking. But anyway. Yes, yeah, so I'll be back on here soon with maybe something more interesting than just my face. <laughs> Uh, hope you enjoyed watching me unpack though and I really love those ears hi guys it's red nose day so <laughs> this is why I'm wearing this nose red nose day um, yeah listen to how I'm talking so I had this on at work but when I was answering the phone I'd have to try and remember to take it off because otherwise all you could hear was me going hello <laughs> Um, yeah, so um, at, I work at a school and for Red Nose Day we did uh, wear all red, um, wear all red or wacky socks or something to make people smile. So I wore all red and wacky socks and my red nose which made people smile. Um, I unfortunately didn't get any pictures. I got changed when I got in. I've got my t shirt on still and my little red earrings and red hairband. But I had a red jacket, a smart jacket, because obviously I needed to be smart at work. So a smart jacket, red skirt, sparkly tights, um, socks that are sharks that look like they're eating your leg. I think you can see that. Ah, there's a shark eating me. Help me, help me. Anyway. Yeah, so all those. And a red coat and a red bag. Like, I'm fully committed, you know. Got the brief and I ran with it. Um, so yeah, so that was today and that was fun. Um, the boys wore theirs as well. The only thing about these, they're great because obviously paper's good and the plastic bit's not too hard on your nose and it's all recyclable. But it's like one of those, if you can see, the honeycomb material. Ooh. But as you can see at the top, where that's where you touch it. So when my boys got theirs, as soon as they got it, they took it off and then like squished. And it squishes. It's a bit rubbish. But it doesn't matter because what it's for is what's important and it raises money. This year, I was quite shocked actually because most of the time it's from Sainsbury's. But this year it was on Amazon. But I didn't see a lot of advertising for it really. Um... And a lot of people at work, at the school I work at, didn't know where to get them going. They, they said they hadn't seen any at Sainsbury's. That's because they're from Amazon. But they come in this little case, like this, um, which is quite cute, I suppose. Um, yeah. And what's important, really, it doesn't matter whether they work properly or not, is that you're raising money for charity, so, yeah, we all had a nose. And then you donate money on the link 
from school to um so you could wear red or whatever to school um with yeah so you pay a bit of money instead of bringing in a pound or whatever it is that you normally do at school it's pay a bit of money and on the link and yeah donate there and wear what you want well not what you want but red um so i did but i'm really good that i didn't get any pictures for any of you because people were impressed the kids thought it was brilliant they laughed at school um and the staff liked it too and giggled but also some of them just didn't even bat an eyelid it's like oh it's an excuse for dressing up it's a dressing up theme day of course jamie's gonna do it because she always does so yeah they weren't too surprised about that but yeah i just thought i'd hop on i really want to show you i'm going to show you my socks properly because like i can like so as you can see it is a shark there's his fin and there's his little fins and there's his mouth and um, yeah so it looks like the shark is eating your foot and trying to eat your leg i love them um i've got a pair of um crocodile ones as well um but oscar wore those today uh, he wasn't sure if he wanted to or not and it's like they're really cool though oscar you should wear them they're wacky socks they're great so he did so that was nice and it's Friday. Oh, finally. I didn't think this week was going to end. It was a weird week because they had the two days off in the Wednesday, Thursday because of the teacher strike. And obviously I work at the school normally on a Thursday. So I had to work from, I worked from home on Thursday morning. So that was a bit weird as well with the kids being home. Not got much plan for the weekend. It is Mother's Day on Sunday. So I'll show you what I've got um, because although Rob's not here, so I don't get breakfast in bed and all those things, it doesn't matter. Um, I know they all got together, uh, Rob got the boys to choose some things for me before he went away in a gift bag, so I'm quite chuffed and looking forward to that. And it's the thought that counts, like I love when the boys just draw me something or make me a poster or a card, those things I like a lot because I, I keep them. I've got boxes in the loft full of drawings and stuff, which is awful I know, but I just don't like getting rid of them. And they're just so beautiful and I love it when they do things like that so I don't mind that we're not going to go anywhere. We went out last weekend for a carvery um, and that was for Mother's Day so I'm quite happy with that. Um, Charlotte I'm guessing, well Charlotte will be going over to her mum's probably on the Saturday I would have thought and stay over to be there for Mother's Day on the Sunday. Um, and yeah, we're not doing much tomorrow, Saturday, so Oscar's got swimming, he's moved into a different class because he was struggling a bit, so we've just dropped him down one just to get his confidence back and stuff and once he's flapping around in that properly again, he can obviously move again um, but last week he had a right little wobble so and I don't want him to feel pressured and I don't want him getting upset and not looking forward to going swimming and stuff so we've dropped him down a class so he's, he's looking forward to that but it's early so we have to be up early but that's okay <laughs> so yeah um haven't got massive plans for the weekend as i said but i mean i can take you with me a little bit if you want to it won't be much fun but i am going to then edit this vlog hello this vlog um put it together with all the other me sat here pretty much chatting <laughs> and stuff and just put it together and put it on youtube for you um just have one in the background just some rambling voice of mine going on just until i actually go and do something um hopefully we're going to go out and do stuff in easter no we are going out and doing stuff in easter rob will be home for then um, and we can have some days out and we might even have a night away i think we might be going to cardiff um to get Xander for the second week but I don't know um I'm not 100% sure but we'll definitely do a few bits and bobs um so that is good and I'll have some interesting stuff to put on rather than just me rambling on but obviously if you've got any questions or anything you want me to do or any ideas or suggestions just just put it in the comments um because I am open to things like that um I'm happy to do because this is for you I, I I mean it's also for me I find this quite therapeutic this is my th you are my therapy thank you therapists um but yeah like if you if there's if you like chatty vlogs I'll do chatty vlogs if you want more out and about vlogs I'll do more out and about vlogs I'll do a q and a I'll do I don't mind so just let me know um obviously I want to do more Disney vlogs but that means I have to go to Disney which that's a shame unfortunately we can't actually do yet until february so but we'll try and do some other um stuff
staycations and stuff like that. I mean, I would like to get to Disneyland Paris really before I go February at some point this year. So we'll just see what we can do there. Hmm. Um, even if it's only for a couple of nights, I'd really like to go. Um, so I'll try. I might do that, see if I can get that done at some point. But I'm going to leave this one here for now. Um, and if there's anything else, I'll add it on. But for now, that's it. But hopefully you've liked it. And if you do, please press the like and please subscribe. That would be muchly appreciated um, to let other people see me rambling. <laughs> now, I really appreciate it if you could. Um, but don't worry if you can't. But hit the bell icon. Ding! Um, that was my bell icon. Finger. Yeah. Hit the bell icon if you want to know when I'm uploading new things and yeah hopefully i'll see you soon there might be more on the end of this if not goodbye if so awesome see you in a bit um i've got to go and walk the dog now but anyway guys thanks again i really do appreciate it um so much so i might do an extreme close up no no i won't i won't do that to you but have a great day and have a great rest of your week or whatever you're doing enjoy um and i will speak to you soon see you later